These are some of the thinnest and lightest gaming laptops you can buy. They are the 2024 ROG Zephyrus G14 and G16, and I've partnered with ASUS to tell you all about them. So starting off with the unboxing, I actually got a custom box for my G14, which comes with a slash lighting strip that represents the design of the devices and also has an art book which goes through some of the history of the Zephyrus G series, the design choices and details of the laptops. But the G16 box is similar to what you will get for the retail version. And then of course we have the laptops. Now I do of course have the pre-release versions here. So your retail box may come with some paperwork and additional items. And you will also get a separate box that will come with the power brick and cables. Now, we will talk about these power bricks a little bit later in the video. And here they are. Now, my favorite thing about these is the fact that they don't scream, hey, I'm a gaming laptop. And that's because of how thin and light these are. The G14 is under 1.6 centimeters thin and weighs just around 1.5 kg. So that's 200 grams lighter as well as four millimeters thinner compared to the previous generation. And the G16 is under 1.5 centimeters thin weighs just around 1.85 kg, so that's six millimeters thinner and up to 450 grams lighter compared to the previous model. Now, I think you'll agree with me that this is super impressive for gaming laptops, and you'll be even more impressed when you know what these are packing. The build is very premium. We have a CNC aluminum alloy chassis, and we've got two colors. We've got the ellipse gray as well as the platinum white. Now, previously the colors were coated, but this time they've actually been blended into the metal, which makes them look even better. And both can look silver depending on how the light hits them. Now, because these have a matte finish, they don't attract too many fingerprints. I would have thought that the white version would attract fingerprints less, but I would say they're about the same. Personally speaking, I just love how cold these feel to the touch in the morning whenever I take them out of my bag. And then we have the slash lighting. Now this has a polished stainless steel finish with customizable lighting patterns. Now previously we have had a full animatrix array, but that would add to the weight and thickness. So personally speaking, I really do like this minimal slash because it still tells you that this is an ROG Zephyrus device. You can still customize it, but it doesn't add to the weight or thickness. Now, despite the thinner size, both devices do have full-size keyboards and the key travel is actually the same as the previous model. So that's around a 1.7 millimeters travel distance, which feels really nice. But we have around a 12% larger keycap and the touch pads are also larger in size. On the G16, it's actually around 28% larger compared to the 2023 G16. It's also more durable with a 240 hertz report rate and it has a 16 by 10 aspect ratio, which matches that of the display. Now let's talk about these displays because they are a highlight of these devices. We finally have OLED on gaming laptops. So the G14 has the ROG Nebula OLED display with a 16 by 10 aspect ratio, 3K resolution, a high screen to body ratio, one million to one contrast ratio, 0 0.2 milliseconds response time, 100% DCI-P, it ticks all of the boxes, and it has a 120 hertz refresh rate. It supports Dolby Vision as well as Dolby Atmos. The G16 has the ROG Nebula display OLED, 16 by 10 aspect ratio, 2.5K resolution, 240 hertz with a 960 hertz pixel emission rate. Now let's talk about this. So up until now, Asus didn't feel that OLED was ready for gaming laptops. And they've actually been working behind the scenes with Samsung and Nvidia to bring HDR and G-Sync for the past couple of years. Now to break this down, the reason for that is because laptop OLED panels are kind of similar to smartphone panels. So VR is difficult. Panel controllers on laptops are also much weaker than something like on a TV. And calculations only happen every 20 Hertz. So to get around this, Asus actually run these laptops with a 960 Hertz pixel emission rate. Now, although you'll still be able to get a max of 240 frames a second, it's really interesting how much is going on in the background to be able to achieve this. And these are the first laptops to do this. Now to match these displays, you of course need high level performance and you've got that with the G14 and the G16. The G14 is powered by up to the AMD Ryzen 8000 series processor, up to the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4070 laptop GPU, up to 90 watts TGP with dynamic boost, 
32 gigabytes LPDDR5X RAM, and up to one terabyte PCIe SSD storage. The G16 is powered by up to the Intel Core Ultra 9 185H processor, up to the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 1490 laptop GPU, up to 115 watts TGP with dynamic boost, 32 gigabytes of LPDDR5X RAM, two terabytes PCIe SSD storage, and both have ROG's intelligent cooling with liquid metal. So for versions with the RTX 4050 up to the RTX 4070, we've got liquid metal with tri-fan technology, and they have the second gen arc flow fans. And for versions with either the RTX 4080 or up to the 4090, have liquid metal with a custom vapor chamber, again with second gen arc flow fans. I actually got to take a look at the internals of the devices and although I can't share benchmarks, temperatures and frame rates with you as yet, I have gamed on both of these and as expected, they have run really smooth without any hiccups. And if you're somebody like me who also does some video editing and motion graphics, again, these are gonna be absolutely fine. And they've also been very silent in my experience too. Now let's take a look at the ports. So for the G14, you have a USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-C, which supports DP. There's a full-size USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-A port, as well as a micro SD card reader. We then have the ASUS Slim Power Jack, which we'll talk about a little bit later. We have a full-size HDMI 2.1 port, a Type-C USB 4, which supports DP as well as PD. Another full-size USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-A port, as well as a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. With the G16, you've got a USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-C port, which supports a DP as well as PD. There's a full-size USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-A port, a full-size standard SD card reader, which is something that's very important to me. And then we have the ASUS Slim Power Jack, a full-size HDMI 2.1 port, a Thunderbolt 4 port, which supports DP as well as PD, a full-size USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-A port, as well as a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. So plenty of IO without any compromises. I think the only thing for me is I would opt for the G16 because of that full-size SD card, whereas you've got micro SD because of the smaller size of the G14. Both do have Wi-Fi 6E support. And let's talk about the ASUS Slim Power Jack. So firstly, Type-C charging is supported. So if you do have a Type-C charger, you're gonna be able to charge these absolutely fine. However, when it comes to 130 watts and above, efficiency is pretty bad on USB Type-C and you can lose up to 10% of the total power. Now, the barrel jack is pretty outdated, so ROG have this new ASUS Slim Power Jack. This is reversible and it's got high efficiency. And although it is proprietary to ASUS, once again, you can charge these via USB Type-C if you'd like to. For the batteries, the G14 has a 73 watt hour battery and it can support up to 180 watts of charging with the ASUS Slim Power Jack. The G16 has a larger 90 watt hour battery and can support up to 240 watts of charging with the ASUS Slim Power Jack. And that's gonna give you up to 50% in just 30 minutes. Now battery life, of course, is gonna vary on what you're doing. If you're playing some high intensive games, you're not gonna really last too long on these, let's be honest. But battery life has been pretty decent on both of these in the day to day. Now, let's talk about the speakers because these have some of the loudest and best sounding speakers that you're gonna find on Windows laptops. The G14 has six speakers. We've got around a 250% volume increase with around a 125% large dual force cancelling woofer. The G16 also has six speakers. We've got two tweeters plus four woofers and the increase in volume is around 47% with the dual force cancelling woofer. Now you're gonna have to take my word for how good these sound, but I was actually testing these out in gaming in the office. And the guys were saying, whoa, those sound really good. They couldn't believe that they were coming from a laptop. For the cameras, we do have 1080p full HD IR cameras with support for Windows, hello. And finally for the pricing. So the G14 starts at around 1900 pounds. The G16 starts at around 2000 300 pounds. Now I'm gonna leave some links down in the description below so you can see the different prices for the different configurations as well as the prices in your region. And that is the 2024 ROG Zephyrus G14 and G16. Some of the thinnest and lightest gaming laptops you can buy. 
And I think you'll agree with me that these are very impressive for what they're packing. What do you guys think of the G14 and G16? Drop me a comment below, let me know your thoughts. I'm actually gonna be covering a brand new Asus device tomorrow. You're gonna wanna see that first, so be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon if you haven't already. I'm also gonna link that video in the cards once it is live, as well as a related video here. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, then do smash that like button for me. Thanks for watching, this is Saf on SuperSaf TV. And I'll see you next time.